No endorsement today by the Brown County Taxpayers Association for the Green Bay Area School District's multi-million dollar referendum scheduled for April, but the tax group also says it will not oppose the initiative. The district is asking taxpayers for $16.7 million, $11 million for building repairs, $5.7 million to cover technology improvements. The district says the referendum is needed because the money that the district's getting from the state is down and that its general fund is too strapped to pay for the improvements. Now, the Taxpayers Association does agree that work needs to be done, but the group doesn't like how it's being paid for. Fox 11's Laura Smith has multiple views. The Green Bay School District's request for millions of dollars is one the Brown County Taxpayers Association says it just can't support. There are repairs and replacements that must be done. But the school board's own decisions and lack of spending control have created this situation. The group says the board has not tended to its schools and is unwilling to use money in the current budget to pay for the repairs. The board hasn't acknowledged this shortcoming or shown commitment to fixing the problem. As far as we can see, they'll be back looking for bond for every maintenance and computer replacement need in the future. We are unable to fund these projects in our operating budget because of state revenue caps. By putting these projects out to a referendum, we are really protecting the curriculum and the academic needs of our students. School board member Mike Blecka says the board takes a tough look at the budget every year. He says the referendum protects taxpayers because the debt will be repaid over six years, holding down interest payments. Also, we are retiring or paying off more debt than actually we are taking on. So if your home is valued at $100,000, you actually will pay $2 less on the debt retirement portion of your tax lobby. The tax group agrees the interest rate climate is favorable but says the district should commit more non-referendum dollars toward the improvements. If these needs qualify as appropriate fund balance spending, why not use last year's surplus? By having a healthy fund balance that keeps your bond rating high. Superintendent Greg Moss says he sees the group's stance as a possibility for the district to do the right thing. Neutral means that there uh, may be some merit. Uh, in the request. Moss says he agrees money needs to be set aside for projects and he's working on that. I'm supportive of trying to find ways over time uh, to have the maintenance side of our budget and the technology side of our budget supported by year-over-year uh, -year, uh, operations. The multi-million dollar decision lies in voters hands. They'll cast their ballots April 6th. In Green Bay, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News. Now, you can read the Taxpayer Association's complete statement on the referendum by going to our website, fox11online.com. The district also has two informational meetings planned. One is going to be happening on March 18th at Elmore Elementary School. The other is scheduled for March 30th at East High School. Both of those sessions start at 6 p.m.